I am so excited for today's video. We have Faker up against Beifang, the world's number one Kiana. These two haven't met for a long time now. Is Blitzcrank already level one? W Duke, easy. These two haven't met for so long, and I'm just... Because Beifang rank 1 on the Chinese super server, Faker plays on Korea. But at the moment, Beifang is playing on the Korean server, ranking up to rank 1. And it's just destiny and fate that these two clash heads. If you don't subscribe to my channel right now and give the video a thumbs up, you are going to have 16 years of losers queue bad luck. I'm just going to put it out there. Do it now. Don't take the risk. In two years since they last met, it's crazy to think like you can even for these big rank one plays, you can remember the last time you verse Faker. You get you can hear him warming his hands up. He's nervous. Faker is just the guy of this game. Let's be honest. I versed him. Don't need to get into details. Beifang now versing him. It's just you get this. You just get nerves that run through you. Like he has this aura about him. It's so crazy as Faker goes in for the e-start, Beifang not able to trade back there. Wasn't really prepared for that aggression from Faker level 1. Who's actually running first strike and looks like he's got resolve secondary. Chinese audience is gifting a bunch of money to him. Definitely pumped for the matchup. It's Faker's wave will actually sit. This is fine for Faker, the wave... We'll be too close now to the tower where fake Beifang's not going to be able to aggressively trade on a Faker and Faker can let this sit and maybe even look for a jungle assist. Gets the E. You trade hits. This damage is just not enough. We're running the Electrocute setup. No Ignite. We have to go TP and high elo. Beifang trying to get this wave in to crash. But Faker will probably hold it. Ion Faker here. Look how many drags those minions. I love the mid lane. I love this little... You can't level 3 all in now. How can you all in? Because if you're all in, you're under the tower. Plus your extended risk. Faker is playing this wave, this matchup, to absolute perfection. Duke's out. Little trade back. Half health. And Faker is winning these trades. He has Ignite as well, by the way. Beifang still can't get this wave in. And every single time, because Faker went... Faker's actually through his pots. Beifang has one pot. He's going to be first to move here up against Ramus. My mana is running kind of quick. Yeah, we're going to have to TP back with a... A tier, like, ASAP. I mean, all know. Ooh. The wave will come in flash for flash. That Elise is not messing around. We have to, if we do, no mana. This wave is going to crash. Beifang has to TP, get tier, and come back. He was too excited, used his too many skills, and he said he has to wait for the biscuit now. Comes in in 20 seconds. The faker is going to be able to get the wave in. You can't freeze, there's too many minions here to freeze. Faker will get a reset. Beifang will try and get every minion. Faker actually doesn't reset because he knows Beifang insta help yeah, insta pot. And we are in trouble here. Early game. Faker with the CS advantage. Elise, nice little lead there. God, this is just... This is just key, prime League of Legends. Enemy Dramas could be topside looking. Cannon? Do we have to give it? We have to give the cannon. And we're going to hit a base here, TP back. Faker's going to see this base. Yeah. He's going to try and TP and then he'll try and pull the wave. Because Faker has Ignite, remember? He doesn't even go tier. He goes straight, straight at Dirk, which tells me. And he can't freeze it. His wave management's bad. He can't freeze it. Faker's out. Faker. If Faker's recall going to get stopped, beautiful. Thank you, Annie. He can't go tier. Yeah, he needs to go straight at Dirk because he's eyeing off a level 6 kill here. Oh my god. Hard shove, hard shove, hard shove. No big deal. It's about, if he gets this wave crashed in, it's about even, but you got to remember Faker has Ignite advantage, which will just instantly put him in favor every single all-in. So whilst Beifeng might get a little bit of a lead here through Faker missing probably three creeps, I don't think he'll miss that whole wave. Um, yeah, he'll miss three creeps. Uh, he's just at, at, an, at an advantage for the all-in because of the Ignite. Beifeng... 
really wishing he had enough gold here for that that uh, tier. Because look how much... Do you see this mana problem we're having? And Faker sees this mana and instantly knows, hey, he's screwed, let's start trading. Faker hits six. Double stun. Bite him! Flash R! Faker held that E the entire time, saying, come on, try me. Beifang seemed a little bit hesitant, a little bit nervous, playing around that, 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 the E the whole time. He had to have known that he thought he could actually, misses another cannon, he thought he could gap Faker and, and, and surprise him. You can't. Trust me. You can't. The level 6 all in, the, the next ultimate all in is just for Faker, is just going to be, you can't stop him. Has a stopwatch coming in soon too. And Faker is just a guy, like, that you can't really... It feels like you can't surprise him or do so... He, he, he knows what's happening at all times. So to get, try and cheese him or try and do something that you think he might not be prepared for, like, it just never works, in my opinion. As he gets that whole bot lane wave. And I think, I think looking for something like that is really disrespectful, and now losing the flash is just terrible. That huge Faker lane advantage, in my opinion with how this is getting played out, especially with how much Elise is trying to pressure the lane. He said he's sweating. <laughs> oh, Faker, you're a little bit nervous. Still a young kid. Gets the tier. Hopefully that's going to solve some of the mana issues. You'll finally get a cannon. You can see Faker went Lucidity Boot Rush. Very common with Fizz mains. Get that cooldown as low as possible on the E. Become pretty much untargetable. Wondering if he'll go into Ludens. Into Hourglass. We did used to see some Fizzes go Hourglass and then go Ludens as Fizz. He gets the roam off. Beifang trying to answer. Could pop the ultimate. Faker picks up the Tristana. And Beifang's going to wait. Is he going to risk it? He's not. That wouldn't have worked. And now he'll have to head back. Well, he will look for a little bit of a trade. E! Can he get an R? Can he get an R? He needs to land an R. One more auto. Oh, no. He's not going to be able to get it. And Remus is going to come. And the hook. Fizz. Oi! Faker! Oh my god, no! Run, 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 run. Oh my god, I feel so sorry. I feel so... He's so mechanical. He's... I feel so sorry for what has just happened to Beifang. Baker is on one health, just troll polling. Ayo! Flipping around, he got outplayed twice. That's why he's the unkillable Demon King, bro. Trust me, I've been there. I've done that. Oh. I'm giddy like a little kid. I feel I feel like I'm a little kid in the candy, candy shop watching this. Faker, by the way, is having such a good season. T1, in my opinion, favored to win Worlds this year. Oh. I'd love Faker to win Worlds. He's not... Faker's not... Goddamn leaving until he wins another world champs and then he's, 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 he's retiring. It's so inspirational to see older players and older players like, come on, he's 27, bro. Like, he's he's, he's 20, he's literally, my, he's like, he's in my age. Like, we're not old. But in the grand scheme of the other players, I guess we can be called, you know, the fathers of esports. But he's still going and he's going strong and it, show, it gives a little bit of motivation to some of the middle tier players that, yes, you can keep grinding and become the best. I like Faker for doing that, because like, and also people are saying that they like me for doing that also to keep showing, hey, you know, you old guys, you still got it. You and Faker, you do, you both have it. That's what the people have been saying. As Faker is in aggressively. And you just trying to trade back here. Like Faker is playing so confident and Beifang, it doesn't seem like he's used to players playing this confident against him. And he kind of just has to passively be like, oh shit, he's actually looking for this trade. Because on the Chinese super server, everybody's so terrified of him. I feel like you watch them a lot of the time, not even... And do you see that cannon? Flashes. Do you see how he, If he hit that cannon, like... That... that oh, oh. 
Yes, ultimate. Oh no, Bayfang. How can he be this flexible? And Ramus is out as well. And I think Faker, I don't think they can chase Faker. Look, 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 look. He's on the other side of the map, can't be touched. Oh my god. This is how League is sometimes, man. It's so hard to kill him. Oh, poor Bayfang. Keep on grinding, brother. You got this. Don't give up. And you can see that Annie just got baited into trying to kill Faker, and then she ran into the tower, died to Zeri. We get the plate. Don't get it twisted. If Bayfang's able to get a little bit more gold, it's going to be fine. He just needs to get a couple of kills going here, like one or two. Might TP bot here to try and answer. TP bot. Can he get an answer? Good flash by Trist. We'll try and E to the minion. And then Q. W. Ah, oh, this is really good. Can we get it? Yes, we get... Okay, we got a kill. We're 1-0. Okay, He's happy with that. Problem is Faker is really fed now. And he'll have his... Faker has his stopwatch now as well. Bayfang should know that stopwatch is sitting there and he should be ready. Hmm. That's way too aggressive from Faker. Get these orders, get these orders, get these orders. EQ? Oh my god, that E is already so low cooldown. No ult on Faker, but you gotta remember Fizz ult's only like about a minute cooldown, maybe less at this point in the game. Probably like... It might be about a minute. Oh. Yeah, he has C. He has that hourglass. Right then I'm like, oh, go, go, go. But then I realized hourglass. Sometimes you just forget. Keeps him there. Blitzcrank is definitely mid bot side. Misses. We have ult. We could try. Once again, probably just don't, don't get it twisted. Fake is not easy to kill, but we could try something a little bit silly here. Bayfang goes for it. And he does. Caught ya. Like a little Pokemon. We got ya. And can we get Fizzes? Oh my god, we get Blitzcrank! Hey, Faker buddy, reacted this. Oh, what bow? I love that. He saw the king and he just slipped straight past the bodyguards. Hoo Nobody was able to jump in front of the bullet in time. And Teacher Fang has his Prowler's Claw and he's starting to get effing fed this is good this is good this is what we want it's getting better this round that's what i'm talking about and you have to remember Beifeng versus mango dog who is the number one fizz in the world he's no stranger to this fizz matchup we've covered mango versus Beifeng kiana we've covered that matchup several times As we get the blitz, and we are just slowly, I like there. He has made so many mistakes this game, but you can st you can still see how consistent this style of Kiana is for him, where he is running the teleport, doesn't have the ignite, not so aggressive, letting kills as they come, farming very well. Like if you play this style, you will get so fed on Kiana. Trust me. As we are going to get in a one v one, he just used his E. E back up in two, one. It's back up. Prowlers. Dodge them the ult. QWQ kills. Ah, that E. And he's there though. We get Faker. Trying to hold his ultimate. He could flash ult. Doesn't drop it. I think hold that, yeah. I think hold the ult. And we are 5 0. We are 5 0. Hawaii 5 0. So flexible, Fizz. It's it's a shame that Fake has not been able to catch a couple of more. Like he was pretty fed for a second, but now Bayfang has the one to one advantage easily. He's gonna have the level advantage as well. And at this point in the game, you gotta be feeling pretty good about your life. So Fizz is bot. 
We might be able to find a mid lane pick here. Enemy Jace is very fed and also very vulnerable though. We flash RQ. Six kill for Beifang. Treasure Hunter slowly stacking up and now we go back down to bot lane to pick up that wave for Faker. Blew his flash there. Dodge R. Is he scared of the fish? Is he scared of the fish? I'd be scared of the fish. Is Faker? I don't see Faker. He could be bush sitting. So dangerous here. Faker could be in that bot brush or that top brush right there just sitting. Where's him? Where he be? Go up. Test him. Test, test, test. Come on. Come on, dare. Come on. Ah. Oh. Hey, Fang. Come on. He's not there, bro. He's not there, bro. Oh, you little scaredy cat, you. You little scaredy cat. I wonder if he was there. He still hasn't shown. I'm going to TP now. Okay. I don't know where Faker is. Where the hell is Faker? He's disappeared. It's almost like he's AFK. I'm so confused. He should be on this bot lane wave. He's bush camping somewhere. He's hiding on bush. Bro. There he is. Where's he been? Oh, oh, oh. Can't quite cheese him. Baker has that Ludens ready and the stopwatch. I wonder what happened there. He seemed like he's off the map for a while. He must have been trying to get gold. Maybe he killed a camp and then backed and got the Ludens. Don't know. But Beifang just got a massive advantage over him doing that. Okay. We can't fix the wave. Big fight going out. Whole team going low. Oh no. Zero starting to pop off. Faker moves his way in. Hey, Frank, just going to sit for a second as Fake it looks for the hunt. Jace is there. Jace knows on vision. And we'll come through and defend the tower. Hopefully, the Fizz can't pick up any free kills here. He's thinking about looking for the Jace. E Prowlers could do it. Yep. Alt. Nah, we're dead. Oh, no. That's such a bad shutdown. Oh, no. We were 5 though. Oh, God. Deaths like that. Trust me, deaths like that, it feels like they don't matter. But huge bounties like that are where the game... Like, you can't see it directly, but things like that is just... It can cost you the entire games, trust me. Jace is going to be so fed now. We're going to have to wait for three items now. Muramana up next into... It should be, honestly, Strato's Grudge because into the, like they, they're actually getting pretty beefy here. And Fizz will go into the Hourglass, so armor, armor, it's fine. Wouldn't mind seeing a couple more 1v1s. Twenty seconds. No one do Krugs. It's level one. No one wastes time with Krugs. Miramana done. We'll head down. We'll head down bot. We have TP. I feel like we can easily at least Kiana should be able to easily take down a Jace in a side lane. Baker with the CS lead. XP is pretty even between these two, I believe. I'm loving how this is going. I'm loving this matchup. Thank Christ. Like, sometimes you get these two big players going head-to-head. -head, and I don't pre-watch these games. And sometimes you, I'm reviewing them. And I just think, God, what a shame. Like, this game, I have loved with how it's getting played out. Faker looking for the top lane 1v1. Please, nah. Be careful, buddy. You guys, most of you guys know I prefer slower, low kill games than, like, big 100 kill blowouts. Because they're just more realistic. 
mind games and like macro decisions is usually where I get off <laughs> in game, maybe out of game. Um, as we do have TP, I'm wondering if he's thinking about like they could be. Somebody needs to put the, the ward on Nash down. I don't think they're trying it yet. And this is fine. Top lane tower for bot lane tower with Herald. These tier two outers are worth a lot more. You can see Bayfang picks up a shit ton of gold. Level 13, maxed out that W now. And I'm loving the way this game looks. Three dragon lead over to blue side. And that is going to mean in five minutes, four minutes, 20 seconds, we have nice. We have a, we have a Herald. Sorry, we have a, a soul to, to contest for the enemy team. Loving this. Baker is still sitting on one and a half items. He needs, like, this Fizz needs some gold generation right now. Otherwise, it's going to fall off. You can't sustain assassins like this. Like, I feel like Kiana, you can because of the Mirror Mana, especially. You can scale pretty... Oh, careful. Oh, no. Ultimate comes out. Invis. Again. Oh. My. This is not good. Ramus. Oh, no, 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 no. Back out, back out, back out, back out. Um, okay. Two for one. It's not the end of the world. Oh, but Ziri's waiting. Prowlers, miss. Faker comes through. Flash. Faker flashes. And Faker knows that's going to burn. Tristana gets baited in. Faker still has the hourglass, I believe. And... Ziri flashes for the kill. This is really not good. I feel like Bayfang almost got baited there. He went in. He used everything. His team kind of got stuck in limbo. And Nar cuts the wave off. This is good. Ayelo macro. Nar cuts the wave. Moves across. And they're going to sit there again. The Blitzcrank. Hello. Blitzcrank in Korea. It's so bloody good. And he blows the flash. And he no flash. Massive, massive troll. This needs to be contested. He wants to try and TP. He wants to try and TP and contest. Here we go. How's the Baron fight? Let's go. Right now. Are they on it? They are. Bayfang ult in 10 seconds. At least flash deals. Ultimate in 5. They're all stuck in the pit. 3, 2, 1. We're going to get a massive Kiana ult. Can we get in? Can we find an angle? Oh. Oh no. The ultimate. Fizz goes down. Oh, that could have been so much better. Ramus looking. God, I, I was praying they were going to sit in the pit and a five-man Keanu comes through, but it just didn't really work that way. The Faker does go down, but he did pick up a kill or two, right? Baron went over to the Elise. That's the most important part. Beifang not, not talking. I don't know. He needs to <gasps> take a deep breath, my dude. I'm stressed out. I don't even know how he's feeling. Okay. Roll with Grudge up next, like I said. Enemy Ziri is starting to become very, very big. Very big. Ziri, three items. Problem. We have a... Pro Sir, we have a problem. Wait, Dragon. i wait for the soul. He's not going to have Flash for it. Careful, careful, careful. Blitzcrank is so hard to play into as a Kiana. Because once he silences, you're stuffed. Don't do anything too crazy, guys. There is the Fizz. You can't... We need River. We need River Control, but we just can't get it. There's Fake Up. Here comes the Ramus. No. Elise is going to get... She's going to repel, but she's going to die. Really good pick. And then here comes the rem, rem. Oh, no. Don't get baited. Don't get baited. Don't get baited. He's trying to protect his little Annie. I don't think it's worth it, bro. Maybe Prowlers? Does she die? Does she even... He doesn't have Ignite. Oh, no, 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 no. But his team's ending. If he... If he oh, my God. I think he didn't... Yeah. If he killed... If he killed the Ziri there... God. So they, they went for the Tristana and Na went for the end. And they almost got it. With the Baron. 
Oh man, this game. And that means they're gonna pick up the dragon. So no soul now for Beifang. It's gonna be denied unless at least can get there in time. I doubt it. And that's gonna mean Zero gets the IE. What a game. At least another steal. If she stole that, that would have been insane. If she got that, probably game one. Ocean Soul, Tristana pumping DPS. It would have been good. Really good. Now, how do we proceed? The base is very open. Beifang Flash is up. We have to kill. All focus needs to be on Ziri now. If Ziri gets an IE plus a stopwatch, I, I dread for Beifang. In Korean Challenger, they just... If they have a stopwatch, they're going to use it exactly, pin perfectly, right? She doesn't. She gets IE plus a BF. I'll be going Bloodthirster. Very, very greedy build. But pure damage, oh, and she is that. going to be dishing out as Jace finds Beifang. And we don't have Flash anymore. We do not have Flash anymore, gentlemen. Mm, this Ramus is becoming a bit of a problem. On Strada's Grudge. We need it, bro. There we go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. We got it. Three items now. Ziri has to die. We don't have Flash. It needs to be like an Annie engage. It needs to be something. It needs to be somebody else with the layup. Okay, come on. Let's get it. Kind of lost, man. It feels hard, I agree. From here, it feels so hard on Kiana. And this is how I feel every Kiana game I play. Let alone against Faker. It has to be a pick on Ziri or Jace into just an ending push. It has to be. They have to get baited. It can't be from Beifeng. Wait, Baron? Yeah. Just gonna base here and get a control ward. Nothing else you can really do. Baron fight, win or lose all in. I'm a gambling man, I like that. Hey, it's a 50 50. You either win or you lose. Red or black. Come on, baby. It's okay, Poke. Thanks for the shield. Flash won't be up. Blitzcrank is a you if it if the Blitzcrank ooh, 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 ooh. No. Now we're half health and we can't fight. He has to TP back in. And look at this poke. You can't you can't dance around a baron against a fed jace like this without a tank. It's just you your team is gonna drop to half health. Mmm, that should be a court, Annie. Sorry, court. Nah, that is even worse. And this Ramus Blitzcrank pick with the poke of the Jace, this comp is just coming out superior. As look at Tristana trying to make her win. They found the Ramus, but I don't know. Like, look at Tristana is dying faster than she's killing the Ramus. We've seen the Bows Ramus. We know. We know how it goes. Just needs life steal, otherwise she'll die. There's no way. She needs Bloodthirster. I don't think she knows. And Elise says, screw this, I'm starting Nash. Just do it. Let's bet on this, nothing to lose. Oh, I like the energy. Now zone the Ramus. I like the energy. Now kick the Ramus. He uses it on the Ramus. They're going to try and kill him. They kill the Ramus. Okay, I like it, I like it. Now disengage. They need to find a reset. Wait. Wait, they didn't get Baron? What the hell? 
Faker stole the Baron! With the E! Oh my god, you're kidding. Rise a TP out. Ward goes through. Hook goes through. Oh lord, Bayfe. My brain is burnt. I'm feeling you on that one, brother. Wow, that is rough. And then it goes over to Faker steals it anyway. Oh god, it's truly just one of those games. And from the, the team morale from here, with 40 CS down, we've run out of damage. I just don't. I, I can feel the energy. And it's just not it. Oh. FF votes are going through. I wouldn't be surprised. This might even pass. Say no. Thank you, brother. I want to see you fight it out to the end. With a little bit of dignity. Nice two, three man ultimate. Finds Faker. We're going to get the 1v1. Ultimate doesn't land. He gets killed from the Jace. Fall from the skies and we... Blew a 5-0 lead against Faker. I'm saying this a million times. You, you can camp Faker, you can stay in his lane, you can do whatever you want, but the guy is just a rock. You can't... He will just always be relevant in the game. He's too smart. His IQ's too high. He's too slippery. You can't kill him. And it's over now. That is... But it's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you have enjoyed your stay here today, uh, boys and girls. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. I appreciate you watching my videos. Hopefully the season's going pretty good for you. I'm currently 900 LP challenger. I'm actually starting to climb up, believe it or not, in the oceanic super server, that is. Um, we're doing good. Might do a rank one push. We'll see. A couple more trophy and faker vods I need to review, but I'll uh, catch you guys on my next video. Have a great weekend. Catch you later. Peace.